Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we are going to see how to remove a duplicate of rows based on the column name. For example, your data table might contain a number of duplicates, but you don't want to just simply remove the duplicates based on some particular columns conditions. You want to remove the particular rows from your data table. So that can be achieved using this link query, which is displayed in the screen. And uh, to explain that, right, so output DD is the place where your output uh, is getting stored in the form of a data table, and input is the place where we are going to clean up using this uh, link query. And uh, followed by that, we have a group functions and we have column name, which is where you have to specify your column name for which you are going to perform the remove duplication function, right? And the next to that, uh, you have uh, copy to data table and uh, that's where your data table is getting sorted out with the duplications and store it in the output data table right so without getting delay we'll jump back to ui path and see how this duplication removal is like that can be achieved right so right now i have a data table which is which does contain two columns one is like country and other one is called range you can either take some data from your excel which is from your sample sheet or you can just simply go ahead and create your data table, which does contain a lot of values like that, right? So for example, if we take a column one, which is a country and it is having India, which is I think India is placed here and India here as well. So US also placed twice over. Now I want to remove the duplication uh, based on the column name country. I should not have any repeated countries, which is listed in this uh, column. So the respective rows should be removed if there is any duplication. Right, so for that, we are going to achieve in this question and this data table is getting stored in input.dt. Now, to store our output, you have to create output.dt. The naming convention is as for your convenience, you can go ahead and create whatever you want. But here I've just mentioned it uh, like in this question so that like we could be able to understand what it is. Right. So since the link query is quite a big, right? So I've already noted down somewhere. So I'll take this link query and paste it in the assigned activity to achieve but by removing the duplication right so i've pasted it here so if you go here right so inside this the column name you have to replace it because right now my column name is country i'll replace it country yeah so i'll replace it with it and the data table is input.dt and that's going to get stored in our output or dt output data table right so it looks some um, error is there that's data table type is right now it's a string. So you had to go here and change the type from string to data table because it's not a string, it's a data table where you're going to store it, uh, your uh, removal of the duplication of, uh, after removing the duplication from your data table. Right now I'm going to test it. Let's see how the duplication is getting removed. Your uh, initial data table contains two times India and uh, I think US as well. So let's see whether that removal of duplication happens or not. For example, your input data type is this one. So you can be able to see US, US and India. You can see India as well, right? So that's your input. And when I step in further, you can be able to see, right? So India is once and US is once. So that's how your data table is getting sorted and remove the duplicate rows. So if you want to uh, achieve some sort of a removing duplication or duplicate uh, rows based on some particular columns, you can just use this link query and achieve the functionality, right? So that's how you can be able to achieve it. I'm going to paste the link query in the descriptions as well because it's a quite big one, right? So if you want to use it in your projects, you can just go ahead and use it, right? So I'm also attaching the XAML file for your reference. That will be helpful in case if you paste or you get stuck somewhere in your projects. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll get you in the next video. Have a nice day.